Desktop workstation PCs are great, being extremely powerful and getting work done insanely quickly, but what if you could take one with you on the go? Well, that's exactly why Dell reached out to partner up with me on this video to do just that. This right here is the brand new Dell Pro Max 18 Plus, the world's fastest Windows laptop ever, being essentially a desktop workstation PC, but in a laptop form factor, making it possible to take insane levels of performance with me on the go, including one of the best Intel Core Ultra processors, the Ultra 9 285HX, as well as Nvidia's RTX Pro 5000 Blackwell GPU with 24 gigs of ECC VRAM. Yes, a true workstation GPU that flies through any graphics related task that you throw at it alongside that flagship best of the best Intel CPU somehow packed into a laptop that yes, is definitely a bit chunky compared to what you're used to seeing on this channel, but it's a lot easier than hauling around a desktop PC case, mouse and keyboard. And before you ask how the heck Dell is keeping that GPU from melting the keyboard, they actually developed a new triple fan cooling system that lets this bad boy run much faster than competing laptops with the same GPU. And don't forget that Intel 285HX CPU, which is the fastest you can possibly get in a laptop form factor, coming with workstation grade Intel V Pro, which offers built-in performance, security, and remote management features trusted by enterprise IT teams making sure that you not only fly through graphics related tasks, but also CPU based as well. So before I get into a bunch of performance benchmarks and real world tests, including how it held up against Apple's M4 Max 16 inch MacBook Pro, I've got to talk about the laptop itself because the rest of the package is surprisingly just as good as the performance. Despite the thick chassis, the design actually looks pretty nice, reminding me of the XPS from the good old days, but now with a bit more weight. Don't worry, I'm not gonna judge this thing because this is packed with an incredible port selection. Say goodbye to the old barrel plug because Dell's new charger uses USB-C 280 watts, so you're no longer in trouble if you forget it. But these aren't any old USB-C ports. You get two Thunderbolt 5 ports on the left side. Yes, that means 80 gigabit transfer speeds. You also get 2.5 gig ethernet, HDMI 2.1, and a card reader and an optional smart card reader all on the left side. And then on the right side, you get a Thunderbolt 4 port, two USB-A ports for legacy devices with five gig speeds, a headphone jack, and a lock slot. And yes, this is also 5G capable with a Qualcomm X72 modem, so you can add that on if you want as well. So it's nice that you get modern and future-proof ports, but you also get some of that legacy goodness as well, so you're not sacrificing anything. Now moving on to the display, this thing is an 18 inch beast with pretty dang thin bezels all the way around, including the top, which houses a 1080p webcam with a privacy cover. And the display itself has 2.5K resolution, so it's nice and sharp, as well as 120 hertz refresh rate, which is great for a little bit of gaming on the side. You also get 100% DCI-P3 color gamut for the creators out there, and 500 nits of brightness, which is just bright enough for regular use. But now jumping into performance, I decided to see how the new Dell Pro Max 18 Plus would fare against Apple's flagship 16 inch MacBook Pro with the M4 Max chip. And some of the results were shockingly impressive, especially as we got into the real world tests. One of the biggest advantages of the Dell Pro Max is the storage, which you can actually get dual SSDs and run them in a variety of RAID configurations, like this one which is using RAID 0, giving us insanely fast transfer speeds. In terms of the read speed, the Dell clocked in at 15,149 megabytes per second, literally triple the speed of the M4 Max MacBook Pro. And in terms of write speed, the Dell was 32% faster overall.
over 8,000, which is very important if you wanna take full advantage of Thunderbolt 5. But then it gets even better for the Dell, as this laptop right here has 128 gigs of Cam 2 memory, which comes on a single stick, but it's still dual channel and very fast. It's basically like Apple's soldered on flash memory in terms of speed, but it's on a stick that you can replace and upgrade yourself very easily. Now before I get into the real world benchmarks where this thing really shines, I first wanna go through some quick benchmarks like Geekbench. In terms of single core, the M4 Max does score about 33% faster, and for multi-core, it's about 24% faster than the 285HX in the Dell Pro Max. However, when we run Cinebench's 10 minute multi-core stress test, that large difference fades away, and now the M4 Max is only 5% faster, probably because of the killer triple fan cooling system in the Dell Pro Max. But when we jump over to graphics performance, the game changes completely. I tested multiple benchmarks like 3D Mark, starting with Steel Nomad Lite, and the RTX 5000 Pro gave us 80% higher FPS than the M4 Max with the highest 40 core GPU. And then in the brand new Solar Bay Extreme Ray Tracing benchmark, Holy moly, is the Dell Pro Max fast. Getting over double the FPS in this test, 162, which is insane. So the idea that you can use this as your workstation, enterprise, laptop, for your work, and then do some gaming on the side and get buttery smooth 120 FPS on that display in some of the most demanding games you can play these days is absolutely amazing. And let me tell you, you cannot do that on a Mac. There's barely any games you can play. I then moved on to Luxmark, testing the Luxball HDR test, and the RTX Pro was almost twice as fast, and that was pretty much the same story for both the Hotel Lobby benchmark and the microphone benchmark as well. So this laptop is really impressive considering the fact that the 40 core M4 Max is no slouch, as you guys know, beating the M3 Ultra Max Studio in multiple tests, but this is faster. Now moving on to something more real world, I exported 50 raw 42 megapixel photos in Lightroom Classic, and surprisingly they both took 19 seconds to export. However, when I reran the test with a larger 500 photo project, this is where the Dell Pro Max shined, finishing in just three minutes and 13 seconds compared to four minutes and 32 on the M4 Max. And then finally, we gotta get into Blender 3D rendering, which as you probably know, is one of the biggest reasons why people buy Windows laptops like this and this absolutely flies and it beat the M4 Max across the board and all the project renders that we tested. So as you saw from all those benchmarks, the Dell Pro Max is awesome for engineers, content creators, IT admins, or basically any professional that needs high performance processing and graphics for sustained workloads. This is why people buy Windows laptops, because they honestly have the fastest GPUs that you can get for rendering, as well as gaming and everything else, and the flagship Intel chip makes sure that it keeps up in terms of CPU tasks as well. I mean, it was just barely behind the M4 Max. This is the fastest Intel chip you can get in any laptop. And don't forget the countless amount of software and apps that simply are not available on macOS, which is why people buy workstation laptops like this. So based on everything that I tested, the new Dell Pro Max 18 Plus is extremely impressive, including everything from performance with the flagship CPU and the GPU and its triple fan cooling system to push those chips to the max, all the way up to its modern design with its revamped IO and massive 18 inch display. And if you guys wanna check it out and purchase one of these bad boys for yourself, you can use the links down in the description and pinned comment below. Let me know your thoughts down below. Definitely subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you and we'll see you in the next video.